Hello and welcome to Cancer Research Simplified. I am Ayun Shahin and thank you for being here. Today I'm very excited to share with you a great product I've recently discovered and that is from Arm Hammer, Arm and Hammer, a deodorant and antiperspirant which does not contain aluminium and paraben. Aluminium is a deodorants and antiperspirants often because it is a chemical that blocks the sweating under your arm. This is actually one of the products that does not contain any harmful chemicals that actually works. I have tried many other deodorants and antiperspirants that is just natural. For example, uh, you might have also seen the salt crystals or other organic products that claim to be really working, but unfortunately those never really work. So I want to talk with you today about parabens and aluminium and why such chemicals are linked to breast cancer. So parabens are chemicals that are being used in wide variety of products. They can be also found in food as food additives and preservatives. They can be also in makeup such as lipstick, mascara, concealer and foundation. And they can also be in skin products such as lotions, sunscreen and shaving products. And uh, sunscreen, we do have a sunscreen video and we talked in detail about sunscreen ingredients and I highly encourage you to watch that episode and I'm going to link this video to that video so that you can watch it if you need more information about sunscreens. The, what has been found for parabens is that it actually can be absorbed through the skin and once it's absorbed through the skin, it can act in the body as estrogen-like. So it can stimulate the estrogen receptor and can stimulate the growth of breast cells as well as breast cancer cells. There are also certain natural situations in which estrogen hormone can be increased and that may be linked to breast cancer and that is early menopause and having no children or actually not giving birth, yeah, we should maybe phrase it that way, and also obesity. Aluminium is a chemical that has been often found in antiperspirants and deodorants. Why? Because aluminium is actually antiperspirant which blocks your underarm from sweating. And the most common aluminium compound found in antiperspirants and deodorants is Aluminium zirconium tetrachlorhydrex glee. If you ever wondered why your shirts, your clothes, underarm area is oh, get always such yellow stains, this is actually because of this chemical that I've just mentioned to you. Aluminium zirconium tetrachlorhydrex glee. When you look at the ingredients of antiperspirants and deodorants, there are also other versions of uh, aluminium, and those are aluminium zirconium pentachlorhydrex and aluminium zirconium octachlorhydrex. You can also look for such ingredients, they're also aluminium. The reason why it has been linked to breast cancer is because some studies have shown that aluminium can slightly be absorbed through the skin and uh, since there are lymph nodes, especially in the, in the area of underarm and the upper and outer corners of the breast and at the collarbone. Since the place where you apply the deodorants and antiperspirants, it is actually the area location where lymph nodes are located. Some studies have shown that when aluminum is absorbed through the skin, that they can make changes in the estrogen receptor in breast cells. And estrogen, as we discussed before, when we discussed about parabens, uh, can stimulate the growth of breast cells as well as breast cancer cells. When we looked at the studies that actually discussed this uh, type of link between uh, deodorants and antiperspirants, chemicals, 
such as parabens and aluminium and breast cancer, uh, those studies have been usually made in 2003, 2004, 2005. One study in 2005 from UK actually said that aluminium chloride and aluminium chlorohydrate can stimulate the estrogen receptors and therefore the growth of breast cancer cells. When we looked at later in 2008, there was a study, a review study from France that uh, groups of scientists came together. They're saying that from French, European and American health authorities and uh, French is European too. I don't know why it's been separated there but they have looked at all the studies that have been studied in the past and they come to the conclusion, no, all the studies is not worth it. They are not explaining well uh, whether or not there is a link. So this topic is not worth further for discussion. Years later in 2013, what's happening actually now, and we have also found some review articles about um, discussing the deodorant and antiperspirants with the link of breast cancer. And uh, interesting enough, and since uh, there are still discussions in 2013, all the way from 2003, 2004, 10 years later, then there must be something in there so that we have to be all careful about. So it's up to you as you handle this. Uh, if you want to live healthy, here's our suggestion that we would like to share with you and uh, use products that does not contain harsh chemicals, are paraben free and aluminum free. And if you want something and don't look further, if this is really working, don't try everything. This is something really that works well and uh, work well for me. It might work well for you. Happy to share with you this information. So I hope this was helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I'm going to see you in the next episode. Take care.